This illustration uh, further demonstrates wall receptacle outlet requirements, this time in accordance with NEC 210.52A as in Apple to item number three. Now, first let's look at the uh, wall outlet to the left of the door opening. One has to be placed within six foot of that opening uh, to meet 210.52A1. Now notice to the left of the door, uh, if you're entering in through the door, we have railings. And notice we have a receptacle that's either in the floor within 18 inches or the railing is built with a, uh, a area to place your plug and it's placed within six foot, that's fine. Now the uh, 2020 NEC has made it very clear that if you have a, uh, a bar uh, or you have a countertop that's out in the uh, opening without uh, a wall behind it, then there's receptacles required to be uh, on the side of the area uh, of the uh, counter, as well as the uh, receptacles required for countertop uh, spacing in the kitchen. So we're seeing some very specific requirements put in the 2020 to alleviate a lot of these installation problems that was uh, made in some cases by interpretation, uh, either from design, installation, or the authority having uh, jurisdiction. But notice this illustration is illustrating railings uh, type of receptacles or floor type receptacles in accordance with 210.52A1, 210.52A2, item uh, number three. So uh, uh, you kind of keep that in mind that this illustration, figure 10-10A, is illustrating the railings uh, either a plug, uh, the railing is built up so you can place the plug in the base or a plug is set out within 18 inches of the railing within the six foot requirement of 210.52.